What's up, Metalheads? My name is Jamie. This is the Blades and EDC channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. And today I'm going to be doing my overview of the Cold Steel Engage. This knife was sent in to me by my friend Jason. Uh, I will link his YouTube channel down below. Give him a subscription over there. Great guy. And uh, super funny. Uh, got a lot of knives, too. He has a very high budget for knives. So. Um, but I've had this knife now for a couple weeks, going on three weeks. And uh, I'm glad I waited to do my review because at first impressions with this one, I wasn't too, too crazy about it. I mean, I like the, f I like how s the size of it, how lightweight it is, how thin it is. Great carry, great EDC size knife. But I wasn't uh, very crazy about the action in the beginning. But it grew on me, and I'll explain why in a minute. But first, let's go over some specs and do a couple size comparisons. Then we'll talk about that Atlas lock, which is very similar to a shark lock. All right, let's go ahead and do a couple spider coves. We'll do the paramilitary two, or, or the para three, excuse me, and the paramilitary two. So it's a little bit longer than the para three, just a hair. I'll line the pivots up there. And quite a bit smaller than the par paramilitary too. Um, go ahead and do a penguin. Always do a penguin. A little bit shorter than a penguin. And this one's almost an identical length uh, comparison. The Benchmade bug out. These two are almost identical in length. It's actually a little thinner than the bug out though. Even a little thinner than the bug out. Um, here is the uh, uh, Harsey Spartan Blades Talus. Talus, man, I'm brain fart there. A bit smaller than that, or a little bit bigger than that. Um, how about the uh, SOG Terminus XR? A little bit longer than a Terminus XR. And. Let's go ahead and pull out the obvious knife to compare this with. The uh, AD 20.5. So there's the shark lock variation. And here is the clip point variation. So, you know, almost identical in length to the shark's foot, but shaped more like the clip point. Um, thickness wise, Almost identical. I think they're almost identical in thickness. Um, all right, let's go over the specs real quick because I skipped those this time. Overall length seven and a quarter, blade length three inches, blade thickness is ninety thousandths, the same as a bug out. This variation is S thirty five VN blade steel. It has a flat grind, weighs three point three ounces. It is right hand or left hand tip up carry. They do make a three and a half inch variation of this knife and a two and a half inch variation of this knife. They also make a more budget friendly version of this knife, which I believe has four one one six stainless steel. Uh, those run about sixty five dollars for the three inch. This variation with S thirty five VN runs one hundred and thirty five dollars on Blade HQ, and uh, I think it's well worth that money for what you're getting. Um, now, when I first got this knife. The placement of this lock is what was throwing me off, right? Because I'm so used to the shark lock being up here by the pivot. It's just right there for your index finger to grab it in the perfect location. And with this one, you got to kind of reach back. It works fine, but it felt awkward at first. Uh, it, you do get used to it, though, pretty quickly. Um, now, if you've never handled a shark lock, it probably won't be as awkward feeling to you. Uh, but after playing with it for a little while, I realized I don't even have to use my index finger. I just use my thumb, right? I can be in my normal grip here and just come back and do that. And the blade will not cut you because of where the edge terminates. Uh, it won't, it just, the unsharpened part of the blade is what I actually hit your index finger. And I like that much better. Um, like other uh, coil spring locks, whether it's this one or <coughs> the uh, Vision R, it has a, they don't have a typical de detent, right? They don't have a detent ball in there. So they, you know, you take, you're not going to get that snappiness out of it that you would a uh, ceramic detent ball, whether it's a liner lock or a frame lock or a compression lock. But this one works really well. It's super smooth, buttery, buttery smooth. Um, yeah, G10 handles feel really nice. The ergos are really nice. It carries really well in the pocket. Um, yeah, I really like it. Get a little poon action right there, which is perfect for your thumb. I mean, perfect placement for it. You can choke up right here. Put your thumb right there. Feels very comfortable in hand. Um, but glassy smooth action too. I'm not sure if this is 
No, that, yeah, I know it is. This is on phosphor bronze washers. That's right. I was trying to remember. Yeah, it is on washers. And it has that glassy feeling like washers. Unlike this, which is on bearings. This is smooth, but it's not. it doesn't give you that glassy feeling like this does. And honestly, for the money, we consider this knife is S35VN blade steel, right? And this knife is OS10 blade steel, and these are upgraded. So it comes with, uh, it doesn't come with GN, it can't. Uh, uh, G10 scales. I think it comes with uh, FRN or GRN scales out of the box. The 8025 does. And these run $160 with OS10. This is S35VN and G10 for $135. Um, in my opinion, a better deal. Very similar action. Uh, although the action on this is glassier filling. Uh, it's not as free in the blade though, which if you're familiar with washer knives, you should expect that. But over time, it's just going to get glassier and glassier as those washers polish themselves. So, yeah, I really like it a lot. Um, I uh, look forward to see what Cold Steel does next with the Atlas Oak. What other kind of knives they have out there? They may already have some. I need to look around. I haven't done a whole lot of research on them. But, uh, yeah, I'd like to see what else they have, especially for the money, man. For, for S35, with the materials you're getting with that lock, compared to a Dimco AD2025, this is a much better deal, in my opinion. So, And a great EDC size, weight. Great ergos. Not much to complain about. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you all on the next one.